Another great feature of the Build Volume Reducer module is how easy it is to use. It operates just like our standard 350 module, but with a few nice features. It's got an easily removable overflow, so you can pull out your overflowed powder, take it over to your sieving station, sieve it, and then dump it right back into your build feed. We've got our module all cleaned off here today so I can show you all the nice details of it. And one other important point to highlight is the interchangeability of our modules in the Flex 350 system. So this build volume reducer module can easily be pulled out and you can put a standard Flex 350 module right back in. So with one DMP Flex 350 printer, you can have your reduced volume module for printing your experimental expensive alloys, and you can swap in your full-size module for printing full-scale parts in titaniums, aluminums, and things like that. An important point to make about the adoption of this build volume reducer module is it's a field upgrade to your standard DMP Flex 350 module. It only takes about an hour of work to retrofit a field DMP350 module into a build volume reducer module, and then you can flip right back as well. So for just an incremental investment, you can get all of this great capability. So in summary, the build volume reducer module is an upgrade available on the DMP Flex 350 that's gonna save you a ton of money in your initial material development projects, letting you figure out your densities and tensile properties with one-tenth the material that would normally be needed in our DMP Flex 350. Check it out.